good, y'all? It's your boy, N N, and I'm back again with another opinion. We're reviewing Blue Lips from my boy, Schoolboy Q. We got 18 tracks. He dropped another video for Blue Slides, which I didn't see, which I'm kind of mad now. That's one of my, uh, that's one of the ones I fuck with. The producers on here, we got Alchemist, Beat Butcher, Cardo, Childish Major, DJ Khalil, Music Library, Fool, J-Mo, Kyle Banks, Kyle Banks go crazy. Uh, Load of Great, Load of Great went crazy. Mario Luciano, Mike Hector, Tay Beast went nuts. One thing I can say, all the production on this album was crazy. Schoolboy finds a way to get unorthodox beats and just make them sound like some shit you can cruise to. I think he was saying like, damn, I ain't got no party songs on this bitch, but he got a couple songs that I slapped in the car and I'm like, bro, if I could slap this bitch in the car, I could slap this bitch in the car. It seems like the reception of this album has been pretty good so far. For the first song, we got Funny Guy. It's produced by J-Mo, Tay Beast. From what I remember, it's just like intro. But yeah, Funny Guy was a good just intro track to like hype you up before the album gets started. But yeah, Funny Guy intro track. Awesome. Second song, which is a more notable song, is Pop featuring Rico Nasty. And that boy got that guitar. It got them rolling loud fucking it got them festival vibes you feel me like rico nasty get on there and she literally say the same thing over and over but <laughs> somehow that shit was slapping you feel me <clears throat> yeah, there's a lot of producers on that one but that beat i think that beat transitions a lot and that's one fire part about this album you never get bored with this album because it's always some transition or like some beat change up or some type of switch up and the shit just it was lit bro you feel me like it was turnt for real like you, it's never really a boring spot on this album because even in the songs it's like two to three songs in the song like ohio got about three four beats in it and like just transitions and everything but let me wait to get to that. Pop is one of them songs you gonna be turning up in the festival with. Just wait on it. It don't really catch you when you first hear it, and it's kind of like monotonous, like the way she's saying, "Nigga pop, nigga pop, nigga pop." But I think when you hear it outside, it's gonna make sense. You feel me? So number three is "Thank God for Me." Uh, this is a song I see them like leading into. This is one of them songs that sounds like. It can go alongside a lot of different environments. It could be like a movie, like hype you up for a movie. It can be like a good car song. It could be a lot of things because it's just that in between. Like the hook is a good build up, and then the actual verse is crazy. And then when the beat switch up and transition to the second part, oh boy, Q started going crazy and when i got to this song i'm like oh yeah i see what this album about to be like just the, every song on here got a purpose and i feel like that's that's what you need to do when you drop an album like this is a real album like he put everything together no second was wasted so far in this listening experience you feel me so next song is blue slots which has a video somehow that i've never heard or seen but uh blue side slides beat on there is just crazy bro like insane like it's one of them uh one of them beats that sound like it can be in like a horror film or something but it was the perfect beat for school boy you feel me yeah, blue slides definitely probably my top three in the album so far uh the next song is yearn 101 yearn 101 is cool i feel like it's one of them songs that artists like more than the consumer like i don't know or maybe it's just me i just feel like i don't like the song as much as i like some other songs on the project and it's funny because he made this song the one that he led off with and had a video for good thing about this song it kind of switch up in the middle 
And like, I'm just looking at all the producers, man. It's like, bro, he had a lot of producers go in and sweep the surroundings. It's, it it got to be a crazy process when he cooking this stuff up, bro. Because it's about one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven producers on this. <laughs> but yeah, Yearn 101. This is a cool song. I just don't think it's my favorite. Uh, the sixth song is Lovebirds. I don't particularly. I don't. I don't really remember Lovebirds. It featured Devin Malik and Lance Skiwalker. And let me give it a little listen because I don't remember this song at all. I'm indifferent about this song. Like I kind of I rock with it. But it's hard, it, the transitions in it, I gotta get used to. Like, it's, it's turned in the sections, but it's one of them songs that sound like it's a different song. It didn't transition as well as some of the other songs transition on this project. But it's a cool song, and I like the features a lot. The next song on here is a movie featuring AZ Chike. And let me tell you, bro. This bitch right here is the one, bro. This song right here, low key, like, I think this is one of my favorite songs from 2024. And I didn't expect this type of song from Schoolboy at all. And it's funny because he was saying, like, AZ Chike Danner got his own song on Schoolboy album because Schoolboy was Danner just talking. And then Chike come in talking crazy so if you want to listen to any song on this album to get a feel for like what he was trying to go for and like the vibe switch ups that he was going for listen to the movie because it's that in between from like him literally like doing poetry rap to him doing party rap in one song and it's only a minute and 54 seconds so yeah movie is one of my favorites and I see it's not one of his songs with the most views or anything like that, but bro, I swear to God, when that shit came on, I'm like, this bitch on repeat. Uh, next song is Cooties. I don't remember Cooties too much, so let's listen to that a little bit. Yeah, Cooties is more like I probably need to listen to Cooties a couple more times, but it's one of his like it seemed like more deeper songs. He was talking about how he was in the studio watching just old, old black films and like just watching some crazy stuff like basically getting into a, a, a mold where he going into like i don't know but he trying to <laughs> he trying to make some changes he trying to use that black power and just you know go into the studio some people watch scarface and want to be a killer he was trying to like going to some deep stuff when he was putting this album together so this is one of the deeper songs he had uh next song which is probably in my top three as well is ohio uh there's a lot of beat switch ups in here it's a five minute song but it doesn't feel like it's five minutes at all and he he did a good job of that like these songs transition and mix really well it, this shit was probably definitely mixed by Ali, but like everything just flowed together, even though all the beats are super unorthodox, and I have no clue how he does that. Um, Freddie Gibbs <laughs> I had a crazy bar here where he was talking about academics. He was like, uh, he said something about academics say something about him again, he gonna get a case, or if he see him again, he gonna catch a case or some shit like that. But it's funny how Freddie Gibbs and academics got this crazy ass beef that they keep on going back and forth with. Like, bro, really dissed him in the song. Like, academics is really getting people to diss him off this internet shit. That's hilarious to me. But uh, the next song after that is Fo by Ab with Abso. This is one of the more uh, views song I saw. But I didn't really like this one that much. I rock with Absol, I rock with Schoolboy, but I don't know, for some reason, like, 
it just I don't know like I have to force myself to like it and I feel like if I need to force myself to like something I don't really like it you feel me oh huh? yeah first the first is crazy first is him talking about like first is wild I'm just let y'all go listen to first and let y'all process it but it's it's just like the hook is crazy <laughs> Like crazy and like the fact where I don't even want to repeat it and get demonetized, but <laughs> it's about like being the first one to, but to have sex with a girl. So yeah, y'all, y'all. A lot of people like this song. Uh, Carter God Wayne's made the beat. It is a good beat. So uh, yeah. Next song after that is Nunu. Let's hear what that sounds like, because I do not remember that shit. Alright, yeah. Nunu Slap. I didn't remember Nunu, but Nunu Slap. And, uh, it's just one of them, uh, them chill beats, boom bap beats. It probably switch up at some point, but I'm, I don't even feel like, you feel me? But, uh, his flow on here is one of those special flows where he just ride and just ride the beat. Cause he got a lot of flows and I feel like he went into one of them schoolboy flows that nobody else can really get into so this song I fuck with it heavy uh the next song is Back in Love featuring Devin Malik I don't know what Michael was doing but he can stay upstairs right now alright so for Back in Love featuring Devin Malik I like this song but I want it to sound different I don't know how to explain that I like it, but I feel like it can be a little bit better. Devin's verse sound like he want to be like Baby King, but he not executing it to the fullest. <laughs> but it's a good song, but it wasn't good enough for me to save it. So I think that's just a song I need to listen to more and actually hear what the hell he's talking about. But all I hear is a nigga trying to sound like Baby King. Uh. Next song, we got Lost Times, featuring Jazzy. You see, with this song, the beat switch up. Oh, and I could tell Alchemist made this beat. That's crazy. But uh, the beat switch up in the middle. I like the flow he was doing at the beginning, low key. Like, I wish he would have expanded both of these and just made them both songs because this song was kind of short i feel like no it was three minutes but yeah it, it just felt a little long. it felt a little short but this is top three this song was top three for me and this is not a song i feel like it'd be top three for most people but it's the alchemist beat for me the alchemist beat was just perfect for a school but i feel like yeah, Germany 86. Fuck. I want this to be a top three as well. But nah, this is one this is one of my favorite songs. The beat is crazy. I would have thought Alchemist made this beat as well. But the beat is cool. It sounds like a schoolboy beat. It's really different. It's like it got like one of them old it sounds like an old video game, like old old guitar western type like shit's fire I, I i like i like his beat selection throughout the entire project i ain't gonna lie cool boy q um blue lips it's a nine out of ten from your boy in in on unpopular opinion so i guess it went a little crazy if it still got nine you feel me i, I tried to be hard on this album but shit he really went crazy on it. Production was out of this world. Lyrics out of this world. Wordplay out of this world. My boy Schoolboy put on. You feel me? And I just want to say thank y'all. Leave a like, subscribe. It's your boy and I'm out this bitch. Yeah. And I kind of just wanted to do that video. So stream. Um, I know that I, I just like in the video but <laughs> yeah, I'm doing a video in the stream my bad uh I think I might be on here later 
if my nigga is uh, Ace wanna go in here or might be doing some reactions or something. I forgot, I gotta work later. Yikes. But if they get on before I go to work or something like that, I might be back on. But good looking. If anybody been in here, I ain't even look at the chat. I'm just trying to do my review video. And I'm about to do some clips. So, shout out to y'all, gang, gang. Out this hoe.